Hi guys, Mike here again. Today I'm bringing you a game of Black Ops 2. Today I'm playing a game of Hardpoint, but this is not a normal game of Hardpoint. It's a game which is within League Play. And League Play is sort of like Black Ops 2's built-in competitive like playlist, really. It matches you up against people who are of similar skill level as you, but to, to get that you have to play in the like some trial games, basically, in the trial season. So you play a certain amount of games, you have to play five games, I think, and then it puts you in whatever league that you can, that it thinks you're suited for. And so you can get promoted from the leagues. I think there's about four. I'm not really too sure. So you can, if you uh, start doing really well in the one you put in, then it'll promote you. But the players you are playing against are all of equal skill level. So that makes it really competitive and more, more fun, really. So this is the, like the, one of the trial games, and this is before I actually got put in a league. But still, um, I... I do play the objectives really, like really hard. I'm going for the objectives, and I'm a really objective-oriented player. You'll see in terms of my kill sheets, I've got the UAV, which is obviously really helpful, uh, shows up the enemies. But then I've got the Guardian, uh, where I just uh, the Guardian is basically this tower thing you stick up, and it projects a heat ray or something, something like that. I'm not really too sure what it is uh, in a certain area at the at players, so it will uh, it will damage them, and eventually it will it will kill them. If they stay in it for too long, so that that's a really good way of, of protecting the hard point in this or any objective. Like if you're playing domination, for example, stick it on B dom or CTF, stick it on your uh, flag you're defending, and it'll it'll keep them away from it. And if you if they do go there, you'll uh, you'll hear, uh, I mean see here, yeah? you'll see hit markers come up on the screen, and then it'll say guardian suppress, and then then you can also then see Guardian kills. Guardian kills really easily in uh, in hardcore games. So it's if you play an objective hardcore, like objective CTF, capture the flag, it's, really, it's a really good thing to have in that. Anyway, I have, have forgot to say my gun I'm using is the Scar H, and I'm using, I think I've got the uh, fast mags, which is basically like slight pan, you know, dual mags from Black Ops 1, and I've got the suppressor, I think. Yeah, yeah I have got the suppressor, but I'm not really too sure about if I've got the dual mag thing or not. But the perks I'm using, I think I've got flat jacket, lightweight, and the, the toughness or cold blood, I'm not too sure, I'm not really too sure what my last perk is, you probably see it in a sec, I, I did die a couple of times in this, so you'll be able to see it. Um, so in this, which is really cool, you start off with all guns and all perks, all attachments, everything already unlocked for you. So when you come into league play, you don't have to worry about unlocking guns, you can just stick stick on like the best gun there is and play with that. And you might think that could be quite... Un unbalanced or quite overpowered but the good thing about that is if you uh, came into league play late and you could be up against some people who already have for example in the assault rifle class the AN94 which is the last assault rifle you unlock they could already have that so uh, then you could be starting off with the default guns or would actually be starting off with the default guns which there's some pretty good guns but the classes aren't really the best so you'll be you'll be at really like a really dis bad disadvantage really so it basically basically makes it balanced, really it makes it fair that you can play really everything already unlocked. So it, there's no issues of like, oh, he's got a much better gun than me, uh, that than I have, and that it's really unfair because then you everyone's got the chance to have the same guns. And the scars a gun I wanted to try out, so I I stuck him on. So here's the guardian. You can see the sort of heat. You know when you see like the heat rays. Well, for example, if you look at a barbecue, you can see the the heat. Uh, messing up with, like, with the vision kind of thing that that's what this does as well and, like that's how you can see it's there and it then uh, projects heat heat towards the area I think it's heat anyway and then uh, it will make it really difficult for the enemy to get in it it's a really really good thing to have uh, especially in objective mode and also the having the as it the score chain as the score chain rules or score trick rewards um you get points from the from getting guardian suppressors and guardian kills, which then go towards your next score chain reward. So it's a really, really good, helpful, um, helpful thing to have. Um, I get the hellstorm missile here, and I don't really do too well with it. I think I get about one kill with it, just because this map isn't the best for like air support like this, and also they're using uh, I think blind eye a lot of them. But I do manage to get some guy without even seeing him. But um, and also this map has got quite a lot of like cover, so if you're inside you and it's mainly inside, so if you are inside you're gonna be easily protected from it. Yeah, so here I'll stick down with Guardian again and it's really, really helpful 
thing to have in objective mode, I can't really stress it enough, it's such a good thing to have. And if you're coming into Black Ops 2 um, with not much experience, you may be kind of struggling with the game, or even if you have got experience with Call of Duty, you may still be struggling, because I find in this game that it does have an adjustment period, unlike any of the other Call of Duties that I've played really. Because for example, if I, if you played COD 4 and 5, it would already be adjusted to Modern Warfare 2, but you just need to uh, learn the new maps. I, but in this, I find you have to learn the new maps, and I have to like, come up with a new playstyle which which uh, suits the game because my old playstyle didn't really work too well when they're uh, coming into this game. So you just have there is an adjustment period, and I know some people are getting quite frustrated with the game because of that. Uh, just give it time. Just like any new game, you have to give it time. Then you'll be able to. Um, then once you give it time, get used to it, get adjusted to it. Then you'll start doing like well again. You start being your normal normal self in the game and um, I really do like the score chain rewards and the, the uh, whole idea of that I call it the score chain because I'm used to calling that for Medal of Honor but the um, it's the score streak rewards in this and I really like that it's a really good idea it gets people playing the objectives more and if you want to get your score chain rewards I suggest playing and um, you can still get it by just getting tip kills but it's a lot harder so if you um, play an objective mode like hardpoint uh, or, or domination, whatever your kills from capturing your flags, you're defending your flags, or if you're playing CTR, um, whilst you hold the flag and kill someone, or kill someone who's holding the flag, you will um, you'll be uh, an advantage for getting these skull chain rewards because it'll be a lot easier for you to get them. Anyway, this game's almost over now. This is just the last base thing, last point for the hard point in this game, and I'm I'm really enjoying this game. I I, I did struggle with that at first, but and now I'm adjusted to it, I'm enjoying it a lot more. And anyway, the game's almost over now, I think my final score was something something like 23 and 6, I'm not really too sure, it's not the best of scores, but it's, it's pretty good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like rating, it'll uh, really help me out a lot, and it'll make me feel happy. And if you disliked it, dislike and tell me why, feel free to subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed this, I want to see more. Anyway, I know I'm not the best commentators, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.